Hi everybody, this is Squeeve here with another um, video. Uh, in this video we will be covering, this is actually a video on the series of computer vision, so we will be covering luminosity detection in uh, OpenCV. We will be covering a num numerous skills like uh, luminosity equations, how to determine luminosity, and how to split channels. So we're going to split an HS HLS channel, which is hue, I believe it's hue, luminosity, saturation. Uh, I think that seems about right. Um, so, yeah, a real-world application of this, well, there's not much, but uh, you can use it to detect, you know, luminosity, basically anything. I wrote a simple, a very, very basic um, mood, detect mood detector that uh, looked at the brightness of a room and, based on the brightness, determined the happiness or sadness, but that's not that complicated. Uh, what you can do is you can put this into a still image and have a smile detection with a hard cascade and then, um, you know, just sort of do stuff with it, you know, detect mood, detect mood. So the number of smiles will, and will play into the happiness and so will the luminosity of the room. Alright, so let's get right into it. Um, you can, I already set up all my um, directories and things. Uh, so yeah. Uh, CDH hashtag IO stream. Oh no. Open open CV slash hi do we got H. There we go. And we need to use our go. And we want to have we want to output our luminosity so our stream. We want to use our standard name space as well. I would like to say, if you want to do this, you should have a very basic knowledge of C++. Very basic. You don't need to know that much. What up? Oh, wait. Where? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, OpenCV. Right. Uh, I'm going to create a global map. Uh, map. Mother, mother eater. There you go. I'm trying to keep this PG. I usually don't keep things PG. Um, did oh, we want to create another Matt? Matthew. No, I'm kidding. That's not what it stands for. Um, HLS. Yeah, and that's going to be our HLS thing. All right. Okay. Let's get right into this. So we want to create a video capture device. Video capture cap cap button open on terms of zero. Opeb. Okay, and now all we need to do is okay. Uh, while one, you're going to say cap. It's going to be video. So I'm going to funnel that right in. It's not actually called funneling, by the way. Thought I should say that. Okay, where's the O? Oh, there's no here. Okay, never mind. Uh, CVT color. Jesus. CVT color. Um. Vid HLS, and then we want to say BGR to HLS, and that's going to convert from the default shenanigans. Oh wait, uh, that's right. CV underscore. There we go. That's going to convert from the default to the H HLS. I'm not really going to put much ex explanation into this because you should already know this. Um, Okay, it's pretty goddamn easy. 
，好了，好了，好了，好了，好了，好，好，好了，好了，那是不是了？啊、uh, ，I am so tired. I don't know why. Maybe because I stayed up kind of late last night. Not that late. I mean, I'm just kidding. Like eleven. It's not that late. I'm so uh lum and okay. This is the absolute basics of the stuff. Oh wait, it's not gonna work because we forgot to put in the wait key. Ugh, stop debugging. No, I don't want you. No. How do I stop the debugging? Word wrap. Oh. Just don't debug. Go eat your face. Damn it. Debug. Stop debugging. Okay. Wait. Wait key. This is just gonna literally just say, all right, you're gonna wait till you get the, uh, the thing that says 33. The, the... You get it. You've seen my videos before. You silly sausage. Six minutes already. God damn, I've wasted so much time. I'm never gonna be a teacher. I cannot. Cannot do that. Can't do that shit, man. Can't, oh, wait, I was still saw I was gonna keep this PG. There you go. See? Now you got a video feed. Oh, wait, there's a cat in the background. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, wait. No, at the same time. You can see the kitty cat in the background. Anyways, let's go here. Let's end this. End yourself. You have been terminated. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a split. We're going to call it the split method. At least I think they're called methods in this one. I don't know. I don't know the terminology. Split. And this is going to literally split our um, HSL values. Oh, wait. Uh, there's one last thing we need to do. We need to create a vector of Matthews called uh, HLS channels. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. Okay, it works. Uh, we're going to split all the channels in the HLS, we're going to split H, L, and S into a different columns of a vector. So, we're just going to do HLS, HLS channel, and that's literally all you have to do. And then we have to calculate the luminosity. Alright, let's do this. So, HLS chan dot at zero going to be equal to HLS Chan dot at oh hi Lioness it's my cat zero times point two nine nine these are just constants that were chosen somehow by some mathematician most likely but it's not, there's not much explanation. There's literally just an equation you plug in. Uh, so plug and chug equation. At. So this is going to be H, this is going to be luminosity. That's, this here is going to be Q, this is going to be luminosity, and then we're going to saturation. 0.587. And then do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, I'll just do it again, do it again, I want to do it again. 
Hey, Linus. All right, we've done this. You've gotten this far. Give yourself a round of applause. You did well. All right, now all we need to do is create a new mat for luminosity. Mat luminosity. I'm not going to offer any explanation for this because it's really, really stupid. It's HLS Shan. Call me down in a second without any consideration that I'm doing something. But whatever. So here it comes. All right, let's do this. Excuse me. Are um, you talking to somebody? I'm recording a video. Okay. Just quickly say, don't eat any more strawberries. Okay. I'm gonna make ice cream. All right. My dad's gonna make ice cream. Probably be ready for tomorrow. Okay. He's gonna chill overnight. All right. Have ice cream tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, now we need to create a scalar, which is literally just going to channel our mat into. It's literally just gonna. Oh wait, hold on. It's literally just gonna channel our mat into an inner drawer. So it's going to get all the data from a mat and put it into an integer. Or scalar, but it, it scalars act like integers. Okay, we're going to create an int brightness. Int brightness. Don't need to set it to anything. It doesn't need to be a, you know, quite. I think it needs to be a double. Yeah, it needs to be a double. I'm sorry. Oh. Double. Okay, go here. I say brightness equal to sum. It's gonna be an array, I think. Yeah. Divided by. Wait. Divided by the power of. Two to two to the eighth power minus one times input dot rows times input dot columns times two. There we go. We've done all of our. Oh wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm reading this off of something I did earlier. Um, what is it? As vid. So this is literally just going to calculate the luminosity of the entire screen. Or not the entire screen, the entire video feed. Uh, oh, that's ugly. There we go. Alright, uh, and then all, literally all we have to do is, because we have that, we just have to say see out brightness and line. Okay. If we do control F5. Oh, we're not control F5, just regular F5 actually. Control F5 won't work. I feel lightheaded. I don't know why. 14 minutes. God damn, how much time did I waste? I got my phone here. What should I do? I should call Billy Bob Joe and tell him that he needs to go. Okay, there we go. So it's running kind of slowly because I have a ton of other processes running, but if we go here, you can see the luminosity changes due to the brightness. So I can face it towards like something really bright. Like, like, no, that's not right. Um, that's right. Face it towards something really bright. You can see it goes up a lot. And you can put it near somewhere kind of darker. Can look at my cat. Alright, so yes, that is how you detect luminosity with OpenCV. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I will go over in the next tutorial how to do 
thresholds, color thresholds, so you can do color detection and object tracking with color detection. And you could possibly scan a QR code by detecting black. But that is basically how you do this. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.